Blessed and most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, to give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak that you've given me to speak. I pray in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. The Holy Spirit come upon me and told me to write. So I sat at my, t my keyboard at my uh, computer, and this is what I wrote. Because this is what the Holy Spirit gave me to give to you. Decay of society, the economy, the government, even the truth, all continues and intensifies to decay. Even higher prices are coming. A nationwide decline in mental health is coming. More layoffs are coming. More business closings are coming. More violent crimes are coming. More decline and decay in society that's coming. People will be forced to make painful changes in their lifestyles. People will be forced away from their wants and their needs. And they will be forced to choose among their critical needs. Food has doubled in price and it will double again. And a short time after that it will double again. A nationwide sorrow, sorrow will fall over the land. A major decline will be felt and seen. A major decline in lifestyles is coming also. Then quickly a critical decline in lifestyles will, will come up come upon everyone. A major decline in the nation's ability, the nation's mental stability is coming as well. Many will become unstable, doing unspeakable things, even more so. The love of many will wax cold, especially for those handling and, and working with the young, or those in hospitals, nursing homes. No more compassion, no more love. It is as if love and compassion ha have seemed to have left the earth. Inflation will turn into hyperinflation. People will go mad and do unspeakable things, even more so than today. Now, have we not seen just a taste of this on the news lately? Well, it's only going to get worse, much worse. <clears throat> America will default on its debt. The stock market will collapse. The bond market will implode. And people who have money in the bank, the bank will conveniently lose, many of, them, uh, many of these people will lose their money or lose their account. In effect, they will steal your money. Or they will refuse to pay your taxes and insurance uh, from your escrow funds uh, that you've been paying into for years and never had a problem with before. And this is a this this has already started for some people, and this will continue and intensify as our banks decline and it, until they finally close their doors. Digital currency is coming, but it will not save America or save the people. Cash will become illegal. Then no more buying or selling without someone approving it. Then there will be no more giving to the poor, the needy, the homeless. No gifts to any church, no gifts to your grandchildren. More crime is coming, more violent crime is coming also. Murder and arson will become an epidemic in America. Social Security will stop one day as well. Then America will riot like they have riots in Europe right now, but you are not being told about it. They will keep things from you and they will keep telling you lies. And the people will believe the lies because there is no one to tell them any different. These American riots will become very violent with many fire bombings and many murders will occur. It will seem as if everyone in America has gone mad, unable to afford to heat or cool their homes anymore, unable to afford to, to buy food. America, Americans will be forced to choose between electricity and food one day. 
So then everyone hits the streets, rioting, protesting for the way things were before. But those days are long gone and will never return. Teen crime will continue and increase with even more violent crimes. Teens will increase the number of smash and grabs in America and these will turn violent and deadly as everyone is doing this without any consequences whatsoever. Everything, and I mean everything, gets worse. Everything goes in decline and everything gets more expensive. America will become even more divided and neighbor will, help, will, will hate neighbor, brother will hate brother, and father will hate son, and mother will hate daughter. More lies are coming. Lies on top of lies, and people will believe the lies because no one tells them any different. And the ones who can and who would speak up will not be given in the opportunity to speak as the opposition will be silenced or eliminated. Our history is being rewritten right before us, and now they teach our children lies as truth. The young will believe the lies, and the old who know better will be discounted, discredited, or eliminated. This is what I see for our future. America has a special judgment coming, and just, and just as it was prophesied in Jeremiah 15 51 and Revelation 18, as, as it is written, so shall it be done. God's word will not return void. The only book that tells you the truth and the truth about what is to come is in the King James Bible. You need to buy several King James Bibles and keep them in your home for your family and your neighbors and especially for those who get left behind as one day it will be illegal. America will go mad. America will not have a chance to join the New World Order as America will be destroyed. America will be destroyed in one hour the Bible says, so it is. But before that, much pain and suffering will come upon America. People will believe and they will say the wrath of God is poured out upon America and America will suffer, will suffer greatly. Famine, economic collapse, earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, flooding, droughts, tornadoes, hurricanes, unprecedented severe weather is coming, loss of power, and all of this and much, much more is coming to America. Because to whom much is given, much is expected. And America has forced or threatened other countries into our abominations. What was an abomination to God 3,000 years ago is still an abomination to God today. As God does not change his mind. And God is never wrong. And God never has to say, sorry. And America was that golden cup in God's hand and blessed beyond measure. But that blessing has now turned into a curse. And just like the curse that Moses, Moses warned his people about in the desert, if that they should ever turn away from the true living God of Israel and follow false gods, then God would turn his blessing into a curse and they would be destroyed. And they were. So now God destroys what he has once blessed. I am here to tell you the the only good news in all of this is that Jesus still loves you, and Jesus is still in the saving business. But Jesus is not here to save America. Jesus is here to save you. Jesus may not save your life, but Jesus will save your soul from hellfire and brimstone damnation in the lake of fire for eternity. Jesus loves you so very much, so much that he suffered and died on an old wooden cross just for you. So that you could be redeemed back to the Father. To spend eternity in paradise with Him, with Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the angels, and all those saints who have gone on, gone on before you. With all of those who have been saved by His grace. The choice is yours, heaven or hell. But remember, it's forever and ever. Yes, bad times are coming. And I do, do not know at what point we get raptured out of here. But we have the promise of God in this. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9 For God hath not appointed us to his wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. We are now only in the time of sorrows. So how bad will it get before we are raptured out of here? Only God knows. But we are to be ready in prayer and watching for that blessed hope, that great catching away. If you are not saved, 
Look at the world around you. Can you not see how everything is collapsing? I beg you to humble yourself before Almighty God, the God of Israel. The God who spoke the whole universe into existence with words. That God. And you will not find that God in an organized church, not anymore. Not in a building, not in a faith, not in a preacher or a teacher, but only in your heart and in the true word of God, the King James Bible. Humble yourself and repent of sin sincerely to that God. As that is the God that we serve, we worship, we love, we adore, and we obey and that we fear. As that is God, the only true living God. Cry out to that God and repent of all your sins and believe with all your heart that Jesus was the Son of God who walked this earth as God in the flesh, who healed the sick, cast out demons, and raise the dead. For nothing, nothing is too, too hard for our God to do. Pray that the blood of Jesus covers you, washes away all your sin, washes you clean, washes you white as snow. Pray that Jesus enters into your heart and gives you a new heart and leads and guides you all the days of your life that you have left on this earth. Jesus said he will be closer than any brother and that he would never forsake us and would never and would be with us even to the very end. God made us many promises, and God will fulfill every single promise, if, only if we trust and believe upon him. Jesus is coming. The world will, will continue to devolve into sin and abomination, but Jesus will come and take his faithful home with him, rapture us home in the twinkling of an eye. Then our problems will be over. But for those left behind, their problems are only beginning as then they will be in the tribulation, then all hell comes to the earth. Then there will be much death and destruction on an unimaginable scale. Then the Antichrist will appear and he will seem to have all the answers to all of our problems. People will love him, people will follow him, worship him as God, but all of this is to deceive the people. And just like World War II, when Hitler came to power in turmoil, the Antichrist will come to power and turmoil as well. And like Hitler, he will make many promises, and with his tongue he will deceive many. Do not be deceived. There are many wolves in sheep's clothes who lie and deceive many, and they lead many straight to hell. God bless you, and God keep you, and yours. You've all been a gift from God to us, and we love you so very much. With much love and more grace from above.